Okay, we're just uh, in this big antechamber, if you want to say. Got some pipes there. Got the water that's coming up from the slope way back there. So, in some cases, the ceiling is uh, 50 feet high. So, they really went after the ore seam in here. It's pretty remarkable. So, we're going to see if we can get up over that pile. Okay, so this is uh, the main tram cart, uh, mine cart line right here, tram line. You can still see you've got the rails there. And of course, you've got part of the ceiling that's caved in right there, so we're gonna go up and over it. Part of the ceiling? Yeah, part of it, yeah. Part. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta stay optimistic, man. Yeah, so uh, this is what you call indoor mountain climbing, underground. So we'll get up over this way. Now up above is another work header right there. All right. See what's on the other side. This is uh, just like mountain climbing, except we're 400 feet underground. Man, that looks like a moonshine still. Right. Either that or a perfectly square boulder. Square boulder. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Come check this shit out. Some old lanterns. Oh, okay. Coming over. Crap. We uh we just came up from way down there, and. We thought that looked like a moonshine vat. So Mr. Box has gone over there and it's a moonshine vat and he's found lanterns and everything. So I'm gonna get over there and join him. But this is an upper work header. That's wide open. And then way down below is the other one. So we are in a just a huge antechamber right here. So I... Let me get on over there. Okay. So this is actually a moonshine vat right here that we came across. And they must have been using this when the mine had been abandoned for about 20 years. You can see that's where they had the fire. There was another vat right there. So this is actually very rare to see one of these sour mash vats intact so this just tells you that the revenue agents never knew about this so and uh, he's actually found some uh, lanterns right there intact the glass is gone but that is really cool yeah check that out And that's the top where the wick would have come out right there. That is neat. Yeah, pays to go looking around. Right. And you've got the rail line right there. They could have even been using the uh, rail line. You've got buckets down there and everything. So, definitely had this in operation when the uh, the mine had been abandoned for about 20 years before they restarted it again. So, that would make sense. All right. Okay. So, this is the uh, moonshine vat right here. And you can see they had dug this out, put some bars over it. 
for charcoal or wood, most of them use oak. And you've got the other moonshine bat that's easily got crushed <laughs> by something falling off right there. We've got two bottles we found right there. And these are from the 20s and 30s. And you've got uh, these two fantastic lanterns. That's a really good find Mr. Box came across. But uh, they're so uh, brittle. He tried to touch one and almost disintegrated, so we don't want to touch them. So. Right. So any any time there was an abandoned mine, it didn't matter if it was a drift mine or slope mine, it had been abandoned, it was open, the moonshiners would study it, and if they felt like they could get their equipment down there, keep it out of sight, make the moonshine, that's what they would do. So, just incredible that it's this far down. You got the moonshine bat there, lanterns, found some various bottles. There's uh, some cans right there, pretty good shape too. So, best guess of course is that the uh, moonshiners, uh, they just had the wheel, they probably had a cart. And they just wheeled it straight out here. Of course, she didn't have this uh, collapse right here. And uh, took advantage of the rails. Now, how in the world they got this hoisted to the surface? They could have had their own hoist, just like bootleg coal miners on the back of a pick on the back of a truck. Could add a mine cart, you know, for people to come down here and do that. that means these guys were miners. And this is how they made extra money. Because only, uh, only miners would know about how to operate stuff down here like this. So, Mr. Box, he's gone over that way, checking everything out. So, you never know what's back in these old work passageways, man. That's why we come back in here and take a look around. You never know what kind of history you're going to see. And especially something like that. So... All right, spend a little bit more time here and either we're gonna go straight, we've got another upper header where that section of rail is, and uh, we've got another one down below. So, all right, Mr. Box, he's, I see his light, he's heading on back. Yeah, those are pretty neat. I wish they were uh, in condition where we could take them out. Well, especially if they had the glass. Oh, so, God, dude, just imagine. Yeah. So that, that right there is the back, the bottom of the moonshine vat. You can see the stripes. That's where it was sitting on the uh, rods. Underneath that, they had a charcoal. A lot of the times they had uh, oak from oak barrels. So this right here, they always needed water. And one thing you got, you never are missing in a mine. You never met is underground aquifers. So these guys, we've seen this in some other mines. Ingenious. So here's the water pipe. And uh, so you got the pipe going. What you got is this underground aquifer right here. I don't know why that section of rail. It could have come from top right there, but you get an underground aquifer coming down there. So they would just have a big trap 
catch the water. And believe it or not, man, this is what went into the moonshine. So, so at least they filtered the water. <laughs> so, all right, well, this was really neat to see. Did not expect this. So, we're definitely going to have a little look around a little bit more. We don't know what else we'll find. The moonshine remains are just over this pile. We've got this upper work header here with that sectional rail and the aquifer. So what we're going to do is we're in this huge work header passageway. Yes, we're just, we're just going to kind of roam down here, just see what we can find. This is a first for us to be in this area. So now this right here is where the original mine cart tracks were. You can see how much ore they extracted. I mean, it took them years working these headers. So, now the wood right here is from uh, roof supports that lined the uh, passageway next parallel to mine car tracks. So, uh, this area is so big. I mean, I've got really good lights. And it almost doesn't even do anything. Now that drops down into the lower work header, work passageway. Mr. Box, you way down there. Looks like a midget. Small. We're moving further down. You can hear that, hear that water. That's another underground aquifer. It's broken through. It's flowing down into here. So we're, uh, we're good 400 feet plus beneath the surface. And it just keeps going too. So all the, uh, this is where all the cross ties were. They've all rotted those slits. That's where the wood was right there and it's completely rotted. Well, that's just huge. Keep, uh, we'll keep moving on following Mr. Box. Okay, so these are, that's a pristine, this is a pristine minecart haulage way right here. Just uh, can't get any better. You got your ore seam here. Those are your drill marks. The remains of where the cross ties were. All this wood right here, like I said, were the timber supports that lined, lined the uh, mine car tramway parallel to it. Must have been really something to see when it was in operation. And you got another, another can right there, just like we saw back there in the moonshine still. And I'm sure uh, keep our eyes out. We will find some uh, horseshoes and mule shoes because they they were extensively used in this mine, uh, just as they were in all the others. That leads up to another work passageway. Like I said, this being a slope. They, they, the work headers were on like a terrace system. So as the slope went down, you had your work headers and your work headers were level. 
as the slope angled down. So you can see that's about a good 50 feet above me right there. So pretty remarkable man, that we have been able to go this far. Looks like there's a section of tramway rail and there is a breakthrough into the lower section right there. All right. Got a compressor, probably a compressor airline pipe right there. Got more of a pipes right there. All right. We'll move on up and catch up with Mr. Box. Okay, coming on around the end here. And uh, Mr. Box is up at what's called the barrier pillar. That's the property line. Uh, mining companies, unless they were separate mining companies, when they had parallel mines, they would have an agreed upon barrier pillar, which was 50 feet. So we have hit the barrier pillar. And these are the old tramway rails. Not in too bad a condition. Right here. I'm amazed they left these. But they had their reason. Could have been a deformity or something in one of them. But they had twin tracks right here. And that that right there is the connector, the rail connector, which connected uh, the dual lines that where the mine carts could transfer off of one rail section the way around to the next. So I mean this is <laughs> this is pretty awesome to be able to walk this far with no obstructions, virtually no obstructions. All right, we'll catch up there, Mr. Bob. Oh, hold on. Okay, so this is a uh, whiskey bottle that uh, came across. Could be probably 1890s, uh, late 1890s. It's got a neat little emblem on it, and uh, raised emblem. So we'll take that out with us, do a little research on it. So you just never know what you can find when you start walking these passageways. A little bit of history. All right. Okay, we have uh, taken a break down here at the barrier pillar into the property line for this one mine. This is Mr. Box, give you a little size comparison. And the next is below us here. And so, uh, that right there is where they ended it. So that's the property line. So we were able to find uh, some pretty cool bottles and uh, very rare, as Mr. Box said earlier, very rare to find intact bottles in an ore mine because you could see the how big it is. When I got down with the bottle, they just, you know, slung it over, busted it, you know. That's a long way down, man. And that right there is a section of a minecart wheel right there. I think they call those uh, star wheels right there. They were very, very wide, very, very popular 
used in every kind of mining operation. And you got the remains of the cross ties there, and you can see they had dual sets here and here. So we're going to be heading back and dropping down to the lower level, start to make our way on back out. But absolutely incredible to be able to see this. Just a pristine haulage way. All right. We'll just uh, head on up around the corner and meet up with Mr. Box. Okay, didn't do any uh, filming. That's about uh, 1,500 feet coming back from the uh, edge of the property barrier, maybe 2,000. And uh, made it all the way back to where these wooden slats are leading out of the slope. So we'll get out there. We were going to check out some other areas, but we're pretty, this will wipe you out real quick. So we may just terminate it, get on a slope, take a break, and we got a long way to hike up top. So anyway, though, man, but excellent. And uh, see about getting on up out of here. Okay, so uh, we've come back out on the main slope here. And I've uh, been taking a break for about 15 minutes before we start the long climb back up. And uh, exited through this uh, work header here, passageway. So, uh, that's a good trip. We were going to check out some of the uh, work passageways to the uh, left, but we just don't have enough time. That's the one thing when you, you know, you come into these mines, uh, that's actually steam coming off of me. Uh, you come into these mines, you can really burn the time up just in a couple of work passageways. And you just don't realize how long you've been underground till you look at your clock, your watch. So we'll go ahead and get on up out of here and just quit uh, video. And this will be the last video. So uh, anyway, excellent, excellent trip underground.